This is the Shmo. We are in Las Vegas. This is the Shmo with the pro. He's 18 and 3. He's the number 9th ranked USC lightweight. Armand Sarukian in the flesh, Las Vegas, Nevada. How we doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you? The Shmo can't complain, man. You're finishing off the year. You're the last UFC fight night of the year. The co-main event against number 12, Damir Ismagulov, man. How stoked are you to be the co-main event for the last fight night of the year? I'm very excited. I can't wait to fight to get my bonus and go home. That's it? Get your bonus, go home? What about a celebration? We're in Sin City. I'm going to celebrate at my house in Russia. In Russia? Just your house in Russia? Yeah, I'm with my friends. Okay, yeah. just business trip for you, straight yes. business. Yeah, straight business. Get the victory, get the bonus, and leave. Go to home to see my family, celebrate with my family. Of course. Before we get into your fight, did you catch any of UFC 282 this past weekend? Maybe a little bit of controversy in your division between Patty the Batty Pimblet and Jared Flash Gordon. Yeah, it was it was good fight. Um, Hopefully, Paddy got like good opponent, and it was a uh, very close close fight. And I thought, I thought like Paddy lost, but it is what it is, you know. And, it is what it is. Yeah. Did you see him winning any of the rounds? Because there's a unanimous decision, thirty twenty seven across the judges' scorecard. First round was like pretty close, but second and third round he lost hundred percent. Okay, and then what about the main event? We don't have a light heavyweight champion. Ankalaev and Blahovich. Nobody won. Yeah, it was weird. I, uh, you know, when like um, during the fight, I thought like, oh, no way, like Ankalaev gonna gonna lose, you know. But then he started to wrestle him, and like he was doing good, and uh, he took him down. And start he started winning s since third round, and like it was like pretty close, but I think like maybe fifty five forty five percent on Kalai win that yeah. won that fight, yeah. And especially in that last round, some yeah. people had that ten eight. Yeah, last round was like last two rounds he won like hundred percent, like hundred percent, like ten eight for sure. And now guess what? You got Glover Teixeira against Jamal Hill. It's going to be in Brazil, and maybe this time we'll have a light heavyweight champion. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be Teixeira because he's old and uh, I want I, I I would like to see him champion. You know, it's my it's my you know wishes. Fountain of youth, you know, he's like forty three years young and he's still going strong. Yeah, it's like crazy. You know, um, somebody asked me when you wanna go retire. I said like maybe thirty one, thirty two maximum, but he's on the game still. You know, like probably I can be like like same like same age to like him you know to fight like like him it's like you know it's like crazy well you're only 26 years old and guess what you're in the top 10 in the UFC lightweight division one of the most stacked divisions in the UFC but you got a killer that you're fighting man this guy has not lost in the UFC he's a number 12th ranked guy he's a little bit older than you but how do you see this fight playing out you know this is good fight for me uh, I'm number nine. I I would like to fight someone from uh, like top five. You know, number six, number seven, Dos Anjos. And he said, no, I'm moving like in one one seventy. I want to fight some someone else, but nobody wanted to fight with me, and we decided to fight with uh, uh, Damir Smagulov. We have a one 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 manager, and he said, guys, you wanna fight, you wanna fight, and. Uh, Nobody wants to fight with you guys. If you want to uh, have a fight, you can fight with each other. I said, yes, okay. For me, it doesn't matter, you know. I have my goal to be ch UFC champion. And uh, for me, it doesn't matter who's going to be across to me, you know. I'm going to beat everybody who UFC gives me. Well, we're here inside the Schmo Zone Studios. It was in the podcast room when we spoke about this before your Matush Gamrot fight. It sounds like a very similar situation with the guys ahead of you not wanting to fight you. Yeah, that's true. And, uh, you know, uh, we got to talk about my last fight. Do you want to talk about your last fight? It was a close fight. It was too close fight. And uh, I don't know. 
I was in UFC 282 and I met like a lot of fans and that oh, you won that fight, you won that fight, you know, it was robbery. Nobody like, to nobody told me like you lost that fight, you know, just I can understand how I lost, but you know, I just gotta improve myself, you know, and show how, uh, what's my level, you know, that fight uh, gave me a lot of experience too five rounds is it was good for me you know i understood something what what i did wrong what i did right and uh, now i got better and uh, this saturday i want to show like i'm a new armand sarukin and uh, i'll be contender in ufc certainly one more question regarding that fight do you think you would have benefited from open scoring knowing the scoring cards going into those championship rounds Say again, please. Do you think you would have been better off during that fight with Gamrot knowing the score between rounds? Let's say you knowing if you were up or down going into the championship rounds. Would that have changed anything for you? Yeah, for sure. I never had like four, five rounds, you know, when I fought with Gamrot. It was like for me, you know, a little bit weird when I uh, when I went to f uh, round f number four. Uh, I already... Uh, you know, I gotta improve my cardio too, you know, and never been like this situation. That's why uh, maybe I lost the last round, but it is what it is. Now I'm ready to fight for 15 minutes and I know like this time I don't want to give judges to decide who is going to be win. I want to finish this guy. I want to like knock him out or choke him. Doesn't matter. Just like uh, stop him. Make an exclamation and maybe get a 50 G's bonus, too, to top off your Christmas wish list. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully, I'll get... the First of all, I want to win this fight, you know, no matter how, like. And uh, for sure, 50K, it gives me, like, good mood. Of course, it gives everybody a good mood. Let's talk about the top of your division, Islam Makachev. He's not fighting Benil Dariush or another top contender in the lightweight division. He's fighting the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the entire world, Alexander Volkanovsky, who's going up from 145. What was your reaction when you found out about this fight? Do you like that? I do like, yeah. This is a good fight, you know. I think this is this fight going to show, like, uh, Islam, he's the best or not, like, in uh, you know, in his game. Because uh, Volkanovsky, he's number, number one pound for pound. And uh, I think for Islam, it's going to be like toughest f opponent, you know, and um, but nowadays, like I gave him like the toughest fight, you know, in UFC. Um, my opinion, still like Islam gonna win, but for sure it's gonna be not like this easy, like with uh, uh, Oliveira. And the Shmo knows you're chomping at the bit for your opportunity to rematch Islam Makachev when you end up fighting for the lightweight strap. So, what does the UFC do with Benil Dariush? Does he fight Charles Oliveira? Does he wait for the winner of Volkanovski and Islam Makachev? No, I think uh, Dariush going to fight with maybe Fiziv or Oliveira. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard he, he, he wants to fight, you know. He doesn't want to wait, you know. And... Um, Darius gonna beat Oliveira and then like gonna fight with Islam and then I'm coming I'm coming to beat all the guys but you get your hand raised right you get tough opponents you're the number ninth ranked guy who do you think the UFC would give you do you think it would be an RDA do you think it'd be a Fiziev who do you think it would be for me it doesn't matter who is gonna be you know I just have a this fight I gotta I gotta win this fight you know my focus on just on just this fight you know because it's very important fight tough opponent he's from top 15 and he never he never lost in um, UFC and he has like almost 20 fight win streak you know it's like big challenge for me but I know I'm better and um, I prepared you know like I I'm ready to fight, you know, I'm very excited and I can't wait to beat this guy, you know, I'm very hungry and uh, this is my dream, you know, to win these all fights and like get title shot, especially with Islam Mahachev because my first fight, I had Islam Mahachev, it was like pretty close fight and it was my debut and it was short notice, 
but I know like time is coming you know I'm still young and uh, my time to shine is gonna be soon and Khabib he's complimented you in the past about your grappling and wrestling game yeah he said like was good fight with him. and uh, I said thank you that's it just short and sweet yeah, he said, like, uh, last round, you got to work more, like, to, uh, you know, don't give for judges. Uh, no, he said, like, it was a good fight. It was pretty close, but good job, yeah, like this. You're part of the young generation making noise in the UFC, just like your buddy Edmund Shabazian. Yes. Impressive victory yes. this past weekend. Yeah, I was so happy because he he had like uh, he lost last his fights, you know. But I was nervous, and um, when he won, you know, I started to feel good. Of course, yeah. it was a big time victory for him, the Golden Boy. Yeah, for sure, and he has a good future. He's very young, and uh, hopefully, he gonna be champion, and uh, two Armenians gonna be champion in UFC, maybe three, and we have a Melsik Shag uh, Melsik Bagdasarian. He's in one forty five, one forty five, one fifty five, and one was weight in Edmund Edmund weight one eighty five, one eighty five. Yeah, he's the bigger guy. Yeah, he's a big. He's big. Yeah. Can we get a final message for all the Armand Sarukin fans out there worldwide? Say my fellow, uh, my fans. All of your fans. All of my fans. Thank you so much. What was it? <laughs> Thank you so much, my fans. I really appreciate it. And uh, you, give, you give me like a lot of energy. And uh, because of you guys, I want to like show a good fight and fight continue fight you know yes a soft-spoken killer check him out the last ufc fight night of the year armand saruki in the co event he's the pro i'm the schmo we're out let's go let's go ready to beat everybody